Welcome to Norton High School today where we have a 20s at JV basketball matchup between Norton Lancers and Westwood. Norton in white today, Westwood in green. The shot for Westwood comes up short. Grady Pike able to get it underneath the basket. Matthew now with the ball for Westwood, swings it over to the near side. Three point attempt, that one goes off the rim, that was Rocco. And now right underneath the basket, goes right back up. That was number 25. Unable to handle that pass in the corner. That goes out of bounds. Rocco now to send it in. Matthew will bring it up the floor for Westwood. Back over to Rocco. Ryan Cass, his first. up the layup underneath the basket. <laughs> A nice move there by Quinn McNeil. He picks up the basket. No foul call.
tried to get that one over to Rocco. That one goes out of bounds. Number 15 coming in the game for Westwood. That's Francis. And Nick hustles down to try to keep that in play, unable to do so. Westwood will now have a throw in on the far side. So Rocco to throw it in. There's going to be a reaching in foul called there against Nick. Actually, they called that one against Ryan Cass. So that's his second. Get it right underneath the basket, and number 25 of Westwood picks up two. Three-point attempt, and that one's good. Quinn McNeil gets three for Norton. Again, they get it right underneath the basket. And the basket is good. He'll head to the free throw line to make this a three-point play. A substitution now for Westwood, number 23, coming in the game. Excuse me, 33. That's Liam Williams. Good job there, battling underneath by Shauna Rudin. Uh, they're gonna call that foul against Quinn Murphy, his first. Basket there by number 15 of Westwood. That's Francis. Quinn with the shot in and out of the basket. Gonna call that foul against Brady Pike. Rebound there by Garrett.
That basket is good by Chase Longo. Another basket from the corner by Quinn McNeil. to 14 seconds on the clock here in the first period. Westwood now brings it up past midcourt. Swings it over to the corner, three-point attempt. That one goes off the rim, down to three seconds. And there's the shot. That goes off the rim after one period of play. Norton Lance is 17, Westwood 14. We'll be right back. So we're back now, folks, the start of the second period of this JV matchup between Norton and Westwood. Garrett with the ball now for Norton, drives to the basket, and looks like they're gonna call him for traveling. Jack now with it for Westwood, swings it over. Good block from behind by Pace Ribeiro. Oh. Three-point shot is good by Jack. Swings it over to the far side. The shot goes off the rim and Francis able to get it for Westwood. And nice job there underneath. Stolen away by Ribeiro. He's going to take it right to the basket, puts it up, and goes off the rim. Jack Devine trying to fight for it underneath, but Westwood able to come away with it. That was Robert that was able to bring it down the other end. Looks like there'll be a substitution now. Jarrett coming in for Westwood. Good move to the basket by Adam. Unable to get it to drop and Westwood brings it right back down the other end of the floor. They'll try to run their offense now. This is Robert, swings it over to the corner. And 
Adam Bernstein be able to get his hands on it underneath the basket. Looks like they're going to call that foul against Robert. Three-point shot from the top of the circle, and Garrett Cohen picks up three. Goes off the hands of Garrett and out of bounds. Looks like we have a couple substitutions now for Norton. Brady Pike coming in the game, as well as Cole. Westwood will get the throw in on the baseline. Three point attempt from the top of the circle. And Jared Swartz picks up three for Westwood. One knocked out of the hands of Dickerson right under the basket. We'll call a reaching in foul there against Robert of Westwood. So Norton will have to throw in on the sideline. Ribeiro will come over and throw it in for them. Pace with a nice move, drives to the basket. That foul against Brady Pike. <laughs> a substitution now, Jack Devine will come in and give Brady a rest. Dickerson able to go two for two at the line for Westwood. And we're all tied up, folks. We've got just about three and a half minutes left till halftime. Garrett with the ball, drives through the paint. Call that foul against Luke McCabe. <laughs> so 
substitution now for Norton, number 15, Adam Bernstein, coming in the game. Pace gets it into Garrett. Pace drives to the basket, he's fouled, so he'll head to the free throw line for Norton. Basket. Westwood able to come up with it. They try to get it down the floor, and they're able to get it to Luke. And they're going to call traveling, and that'll be called against Rocco. down hard, we'll be right back. So both teams quickly head over to the sidelines. We're back and ready to play. Down to two and a half minutes left to play here in the second period. This is Luke McCabe at the line for Westwood. job underneath by Dickerson. Jared Swartz from Westwood. So Pace will head the ball in. I'll throw it in for Norton. That one's stolen away by Dickerson. Goes right down the other end. This is the shot. But they're able to get it right back to him in the second chance. Puts in the layup. Pace will head to the line for Norton, one-on-one -on -one situation. And that one's stolen away, nice job there by Pace. Ribeiro once again will head to the line. He'll get two shots.
So we are now down to just about a minute left to play until halftime. That one knocked out of bounds. Intercepted by Nick. He'll slow things up for Norton. And once again, <laughs> Pace drives to the basket and picks up another two for Norton. We are now down to 20 seconds on the clock. Stolen away. Six seconds on the clock. They're gonna move it up quickly. Pace with the shot. And we are now at halftime, folks. This is a one-point game. Westwood 27, Norton Lancers 26. We'll be right back. So we're back now at the start of the second half. This is the third period. Westwood ahead by one, 27-26 over Norton. Now they get it down underneath, and that's a nice play by Corbin. Oh, Pace gets it right underneath to Brady Pike, and he'll pick up two. Nice pass underneath. <laughs> Three-point attempt that goes off the rim. That was by Rocco. And then right there to follow up is Corbin, unable to get that one to drop. Westwood will keep the ball. Pace now with it to try to bring it up the floor for Norton. Closely got it there by Matthew. That one's stolen away now. Number 13 with the ball. And goes, drives right to the basket. That's Rocco, and he's fouled. So it looks like Rocco will head to the free throw line for Westwood. He'll get two shots. Good rebound underneath by Quinn Murphy. Well, Ryan Cass now to throw it in for Norton. Gets it into Brady. That one goes off the foot of Dickerson and out of bounds. Now bringing it up the floor for Westwood, tries to get it down underneath. And that one knocked out of the hands of Corbin.
chase with it now for Westwood. Swings it over. Matthew with the shot. Unable to get that one to drop. And Brady Pike comes up with it for Norton. Get it down to the corner. Pike for the three. That one goes off the rim. And nice job there by Matthew to come up with it. They get it to Corbin, and Corbin picks up two for Westwood. Timeout call by the Norton coach. Both teams head over to the sidelines. Westwood 33, Norton Lance is 28. We'll be right back. So we're back now with Norton throwing it in. Tim McNeil gets it in to Murphy. Basket is good there by Rocco. Three point shot from the corner in and out of the basket. That was Quinn Murphy on that attempt. Oh, stolen away by Brady Pike. Pace drives to the basket and he's going to be fouled, so he'll head to the free throw line for Norton. A couple substitutions now. Looks like Garrett's going to come in for Norton. And Liam Williams and Jack will come in for Westwood. Point shot from the corner in and out of the basket. Liam Williams on that attempt. Pace Ribeiro drives to the basket and off balance gets the ball to drop in on the layup. And that shot is good by Rocco. there by Corbin. I believe they're going to call that foul against Ryan Cass, his third. This will send Corbin now to the free throw line. Oh, 
Oh, they leave a, a lane wide open. Quinn Murphy takes advantage, goes right to the basket and picks up the layup. Three point shot is green. That was Rocco. Substitution now for Westwood number 15. Francis coming in the game. Turnaround shot, unable to get that one to drop. That was Ryan Cass. And then here comes Westwood hitting down the other end. They get it down into the corner. And they'll swing it back to the other side. There's the shot. Comes up short. That was Troy on that attempt. with another good move to the basket, goes down hard. But he's fouled, he'll head to the free throw line for Norton. Brady will come in and replace Garrett for Norton. Shot is blocked. They try to save it, and Westwood with one second on the clock. Not enough time to get the shot off. So after three periods of play, Westwood 44, Norton Lancers 35. We'll be right back, folks. We're back now at the start of the fourth period. Westwood 44, Lancers 35. This is a JV game if you're just tuning in. Jack Devine now with it, swings it over to the other side to Quinn. And drives to the basket, picks up two. That's Quinn Murphy, excuse me, Quinn McNeil. That shot was blocked. The attempt there was by Ty. Nick with a three-point shot goes off the rim and Francis able to rip the rebound down for Westwood. The whistle blows there. Timeout is called. Again, both teams head to the sidelines, talk things over with their coaches. We'll be right back. So we're back now after the timeout. Westwood with the ball. They get it down inside and good basket there by Ty Bin uh, Pindell. Oh. 
Nick with the shot right under the basket and he's fouled. Rebound there by Ty. Oh, nice job with the layup by Jeff Mullins. right underneath to Jared. A good play there by Westwood to pick up two points. He's fouled. And he'll head to the free throw line. Try to make this a three-point play. That foul was called on number 15, Adam Bernstein. That's his first. Accepted. They get it up the floor to Chase. And there's a basket. So a nice job there by Westwood getting it up the floor quickly. They're extending their lead. Pace Ribeiro all alone. Goes in for the layup and picks up two. And a three point attempt there by Francis. Goes out of bounds. So Norton will have the throw in. They'll send Ryan Cass back into the game. He'll replace Adam Bernstein. Rebound there by McNeil. substitutions now. Brady does a nice job tipping it out. Good job, man. Good job, man. 
a jump shot there by Liam. point from the top of the circle by Pace and he's able to get that one. So 10 point game here with just about two and a half minutes left to play. And Pace able to steal it away. He'll go for the three that comes up short. Brady goes up for the rebound able to get it and they're going to call him traveling underneath as he was trying to get his balance. So the ball will go over to Westwood. Timeout called by the Westwood coach. We'll be right back. Brady able to come up with it for Norton. They gotta push the ball up the floor. All the way over to the outside. And they'll call backcourt on that one against Norton. Stolen away by Brady, and now here comes Pace. And three point is drained by Quinn Murphy. Timeout is called. Both teams once again head over to the sidelines. We got 46 seconds on the clock. We'll be right back. So again, we're back here with 40 sec 46 seconds on the clock. Westwood to throw it in. has to try to quickly foul against Westwood, so it'll be a throw-in on the far side. So it looks like they're gonna call that one against number 13, Jack. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now Kavine able to come up with it. They're trying to push it up the floor. This is Pace Ribeiro now. That one knocked out of bounds. So substitutions now, a couple of players from both teams coming in. Norton will get the throw in pace on the far side. Four-point game, folks. We'll be right back. So we are now back with just about 10 seconds on the clock. Westwood to throw it in. And they do have to commit the foul quickly to be able to try to get the ball back. That one committed by Jack Devine. Great game here today, this afternoon. Westwood victorious over Norton, 53 to 49. You can catch this and all the games here at NortonMediaCenter.org. This is Deb Carrero alongside Shane Brico today. Thanks for joining us.